Here in Delo, Mississippi, we love the outdoors. We love to fish. We love to swim. We love to hang out on the back porch with our friends. And that's why it's time to make Delo, Mississippi oh. a greener city with solar power, recycling, and energy independence. Go ahead, go ahead. I think solar power is the future. My dad has a lot of cutting edge ideas for going green. That's Delo's new lawnmower service. <laughs> it is wild in here in Delo, Mississippi. <laughs> here it goes. Fossil fuel is only gonna last so long. And that smog and pollution's only gonna get worse. Here in Delo, we have to plan for our future. And our children's future. And our children's children's future. Even if they don't exist yet. I'm Mayor John Henry Berry, and my town of Delo, Mississippi is going green, and you can take that to the bank. Hey, Mayor, what you doing? Hey, big baby, I'm starting a recycle program for the town. It's point number 44 on my 95-point plan. Well, that's really something. If you like that, I've got something that will knock you off your socks. Come on. <laughs> what do you see here, big baby? Ghost on the baseball field. Nope, that's D-Lo's new lawnmower service. Wow, that's free and environmentally friendly. But what happens when they get tired of eating grass? They're goats, big baby. They're never going to get tired of eating grass. Come with me. <laughs> you know what we're doing here, big baby? Building a cage for the sheep. Nope, I'm installing the first solar panel system in D-Lo. We're going to light this baby up, and it ain't going to cost uh, D-Lo a dime, big baby. You mean we're going to have solar panels in D-Lo? That's great. That's right. Let me show you how it works. You take these panels here, solar panels, and you put them on the roof. Today we're starting on point number 44, which is Go Green, which is the green initiative for D-Lo, Mississippi. And then this light flips on. B-Baby and I are going to create us a, a, a video and post it on Facebook. To invite the town to a presentation this evening on how D-Lo can start going green. Free power. How's that been? How much longer we got to do this? My well, key cards press are forward, melting. Baby. We got to press forward, so go get the ladders. And then I'm we'll not get, going to get the ladders. We'll get this installed, okay? <laughs> it's raining, Dad. I'm not going to You'll get be, ladders. You will not melt, son. I'll rock, paper, scissors you for Okay, it. come on. The benefits of going green in D-Lo, Mississippi is for saving money and great for the environment. When we put the solar lights up, it's going to light up our gazebo, and the gazebo's our center point in our town. And it's not burning electricity, costing the city one dime. The more money you can save, believe me, the more they'll get behind you. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What is that? Dynamite it blows up paper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that doesn't count. We're doing it one more time. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It blows up rocks, rocks too. Dynamite that, blow that, rock. Dynamite blows up rocks. Who come up with these rules? <laughs> Everybody in America knows that you got rock, paper, and scissors. It's the name of the game. My dad is now a cheater. There's no dynamite. I don't say rock, paper, scissors, dynamite, go ahead and shoot. <laughs> AR-15, rock, paper, scissors, bazooka. <laughs> All right, this is it. Big baby, you're the judge. No dynamite, it's rock, paper, and scissors. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> well, see ya. <laughs> Hurry up now, we ain't got all day. Don't slip. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> but Dad started this new d -Lo is Green, and he's starting to use solar panels and recycling and whatnot. I hope it takes off and runs, because, you know, that's a good thing for our community and for our state. All I know is when I get here with these ladders, you're getting up on it. And, you know, if Dad gets just five people on board to use the solar lights, the word of mouth in this small town is spread, and we'll have everybody protecting the environment and stuff. How you figure we need to do it in here? Put it in the rafters. I don't know, Big Baby, what do you think? What do you think, Big Baby? On the raft. It's not really realistic to go green all at once. You gotta take baby steps. My grandfather always said, I'd always ask him when I get on the job site, Grandpappy, where we start out? He said, I don't know, but we're gonna start somewhere. So that's my philosophy as a mayor of D-Lo, is to start out with tiny baby steps and maybe it'll catch on and it'll grow and get really big. Give me some screws. Big Baby's got the screws. Go. That's centered? I would tell you that's center. Yeah. All right, hold on, here's another screw. Mayor, is that your goat? No. That's definitely your goat. I don't think so. 100% your goat. 
So I read about communities using goats as a freeway to mow the lawn, so I said, heck, we well, ought to do that here at Delo ourselves. But apparently I didn't fence them in as well as I thought I had. As we're driving to the baseball field, I said, please let this be the only goat that got out. Please let this be the only goat that got out. I mean, really, please. Well, that's not good. We're going to have to figure out where they got out from. There wasn't a goat in sight besides the one I had in my hand. All I had going through my mind was beep. They didn't get out here. No kidding. Come on. Goats are great escape artists. Everybody knows that. And if you put a goat somewhere, you better be sure it's secure. Yep. Here's where they got out. Pop the darn wire loose right here. I see tracks right there. And, and right back there. Yep. I guess I should have wired it better. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to split up. We're going to get some friends. We're going to keep it low key, OK? Let's go find them, get them back in here. Hopefully, nobody will figure out that they're gone, OK? OK. Understand? I don't see any goats. I don't either. Hey, a goat. You can't call a goat. <laughs> Dad had this great idea to take D-Lo green, and we're going to have goats mow the lawn instead of using lawnmowers. I have an apple for you. They got out, and he is now calling me, my two brothers, Ben and Preston, to go help him find these goats before anyone realizes that they're gone. You know, I can understand him losing one goat, but how did he lose 12 of them? Wasn't nobody there watching them, and they all got to running, and when they kept running, Let's hope ain't nobody got them and got them on the grill. <laughs> ben, there he is over there. All right, let's go get him. When we first saw the goat, we were going to come up with a strategy, but it was too late. Went straight for the biggest briar patch in Delo, Mississippi, and it sucked. Kidding me? What are we gonna do to catch this goat? I felt like the goat was just laughing at me the entire time. No, no. He's like, you know, I'm gonna lead you through the thickest part of this woods right here. I'm gonna sit there and look at you while you're climbing through the briars. Ow. There's a barbed wire everywhere. It sucked. He kept looking back at us, going. <laughs> I felt like the goat was calling us fat. I'm never gonna catch this thing. There he is, right there. Uh, I'm about ready to give up, honestly. Yeah. About an hour and a half in after chasing this goat, every time we got close to him, he'd run away. As bad as I hate to say, I think the goat may have been smarter than we are. I would never tell anybody that a goat was smarter than me. Well, we know for sure he's smarter than you. It's just debatable if he's smarter than me. Hey, Ben. What? Did y'all get one? Is there a goat back there? Yeah, kind of. You found it? We can't catch it. Why? You're not going to get it either. I don't know why you're even coming down here. Ben and Preston, when I found them trying to catch this goat, they are just chasing it. And I mean, it's just running everywhere. And I was just like, what are y'all doing? Like, you can't catch a goat like that. I can get the goat. Uh, I don't believe you. I'll get it. We'll go catch it now. I got feed. Be my guest. Ashley shows up, and she had a bucket of goat feed and an apple. And I don't know if she's ever tried to catch a goat before, but that, it's just not going to work. Come on. You know you want the apple. You know what they say, grab the bull by the horn. This ain't a bull. It's smaller. <laughs> Come here, Maggie. If you don't like an apple, I've got some feed. That's a full-grown goat, and she's acting like it's a three-year-old child. Come here, Maggie. I actually just thought she was going to walk up there with some goat feed and walk up and, hey, little bitty goat, and pet it and then put a collar on it and walk it out. That's when I knew for sure she wasn't going to catch the goat. Here. <gasps> Good girl. Yeah. We're going to be here a while. Yeah, baby. <gasps> Good girl. Yeah. Oh, my God. How did that yeah. work? Gotcha. Come on. Come on. 
Oh my gosh, when I caught him and he reared back, but I held on, I was so excited, but mainly because like I had just proved my little brother's wrong. I'm Ashley, I'm the goat whisperer. Carry it like a baby. <laughs> okay, there we go. See, I told you they like to be carried yeah. like a baby. You know, Dad wants to keep this quiet, but I don't think the plan's gonna go well because what if a woman's outside cutting the grass and she's just like, la, 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 la. Holy crap, a goat. This town's like a telephone. Once you tell one person, it spreads like a wildfire. It's definitely a boy goat. I saw a bunch of them, goats, running all over town. There was one goat running through our yard. Hey, look what I found. There's some goat stuff in here. It is wild in here in D. Logan City. I'm telling you, it is wild. These old ladies around here with their flower beds, that ain't gonna be a good thing for John Henry. He's not gonna get many stars for that. John Henry needs to get the goats rounded up. Mr. Mayor John Henry Berry, you better come get these weed eaters out of my garden. They're mm. eating up my corn and they are tasting my chihuahua. Huh. Somebody's not happy about your go green. Yeah, no joke. Oh my gosh, look at all these messages. While my family and friends are out hunting goats for me, uh, I've got to go secure a goat truck. And uh, Angie starts playing all these voicemails that I'm getting, and she's looking at me like, we're gonna be in tr deep trouble. You don't get somebody to take them over there to handle this situation. When I get there, I'm putting them on the barbecue grill. That's just how <laughs> oh. it is. That makes funny. The content of these messages were from eating shrubs, to tearing up somebody's garden, to some guy's gonna shoot one and put him on a barbecue grill by the time I get there. This is enough about the coat being out now. You got the whole town mad at you. No joke. I was trying to keep it very, very low-key and quiet about the goats were out, but now that the cat's out of the bag, the mayor may be in trouble. I should have thought this plan out a little bit more. Yeah, you needed a woman involved in the plan. All right, Miss Ruth, we're going to check your buildings. If you would, uh, just sit here and, and, and keep your eye out for them, you know. And, I and if you see one, see them, just give us a call, OK? OK. We got a call about a goat that was spotted in an abandoned building there in town. And uh, to begin with, we didn't, wasn't sure which building it was. This one's Look wrong. good and check them yeah. out. We're checking them out. We're checking them out, check Miss Ruth. We're checking them out. John Henry can do some crazy things, and that was one of them. Letting the goats go. Been out here for three hours, and the goats are they are still looking for them. We haven't found them yet. Three hours is a long time. I'm ready to go. That's just one of the several crazy things he's done. Let's get in here, big bag. They could be up in that Christmas tree. I'm the man to call if you need a goat call. And uh, big babe, I know he'd be right there at my back, you know. Brothers. Brother from another. Mother. <laughs> hey, babe, you hear that? Come on. Come here. Here, go to go to go to. There you go. 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 I got it. Oh, watch out. He's a wild one. Watch his horns. Hello? What's going on in there? We got the goat corner in here. Put him in the corner. We got him. We got, we got him. We got him corner. We got him corner. Get him. Get him. Oh, I got him now. Oh, I got him. 
Got a goat on a leash. And I'm sitting there thinking, thank you, Lord, there's one. And you locked that door. It was encouraging that B Baby caught the goat, but it was discouraging because it was only one. How many more we got now? Well, Ashley got one, B Baby got one. You had 12, right? Yeah. So there's 10. 10 left. We got 10 more left. You want to try a, maybe a Facebook post on our yes, dealer webpage? Yes, anything. Let's, let's see. You want to do that? Sure. Because I don't want to catch it. B Baby, goats. come here. Can you see y'all? Hey, everybody, this is Mayor Barry, and uh, we got a problem. We have 10 goats loose, and I need your help rounding them up. We went Facebook Live, me and Angie and B-Baby, and I said, emergency, emergency, emergency. We got goats everywhere. It's the great goat escape, and we need some help. If everybody shows up with a goat, I'm going to give them a prize. I'm going to give them a presentation about d -Lo going green. So if you see a goat and you bring it to me to the gazebo, I promise you we'll give you a free prize. Please help so I don't have to catch goats all night. Please. Thank you. So this is plan B. If we got to go to plan C, it's not going to be really good. Spend two weeks looking for goats. I see that the, the mayor has put a, a video out on Facebook and asking everybody to come out and help catch the goats. But I tell you, this is one I think I'm going to have to sit out because I'm 82 years old, and I don't think I'm going to be chasing any goats today. Honey, I'm going to get you to hold the ladder for me. I'm going to put the lights up, OK? So when the town's rounding up goats, I'm going to go get my solar panel lights up in the gazebo. What I told everybody in town was to be here at 6 p.m., so Angie and I are trying to finish these lights. So if you can bring one of my goats back by 6 o'clock at the gazebo, you'll see my presentation about D-Lo going green. You want to do this next one? Sure. OK, line me up. I'm turning this crisis into a teachable moment. I'm going to be making lemons out of lemonade. Or is it lemonade out of lemon? Lemonade out of lemons. Okay. All right, that's it. What you think? Pretty good, huh? Yep. We're going to light up D-Lo, and it's, only, it's going by the sun power. What you think? Awesome? Yes? Yes. Yes, fabulous. honey, it's awesome. Fabulous, fabulous. Mayor Barry, look what I got. <laughs> oh. Thank you, oh, Megan. Oh, man. Here, Angie, Here. hold on, hold on. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Let me get you your gift. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. I got to go get my goat truck. This is actually working. I found the goat in my neighbor's backyard, and the mayor gave me this. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a solar panel light that you can put in your yard to see stuff. Aww. Going down, on to go. Here. Yay. Get her, Angie. Thank you. Awesome. Pretty much all of a sudden, it was one right after another. People brought the goats in, and I was like, oh, great. This is going to work. I do not have to look for goats. Here comes Ooh, another one. Let me help you. Thank you. Somehow, John Henry's plans always work. He always gets people to do just whatever he asks. They do it. But always works out on the end. One more. Your plan's working. <laughs> you doubted me? Maybe a little. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're minus one goat, but I'm going to go ahead and start the presentation. d going green. Today, we'll start with phase one, which is solar power and recycling. Everyone that caught a goat for me got um, solar panel lights, and we just started that uh, green initiative by putting up uh, solar panel lights here in d uh, right here on the gazebo. Watch this. I'll make this one activate. See there? So when the sun goes down and uh, lights come on, the solar power is absolutely free. It doesn't cost the taxpayers a dime. How you like that? <laughs> Secondly, this is D-Lo's first recycling bin. 
So you know it's a recycling bin because it's got our new town mascot on it, Gary the Green Goat. Oh. We don't have enough money to buy everyone a uh, recycling bin, but if you'll put a Gary the Green Goat sticker on the front of your garbage can, it makes it a recycling bin. The garbage bin will haul those recyclables away on garbage day. In d we can't afford to buy a recycling bin, so we came up with a solution by getting a Gary the Green Goat sticker and putting it on your old garbage can. And yeah, I'm recycling my garbage can into a recycle bin. I feel great that we're doing something for the future of d and d of tomorrow for our kids. And it's point number 44 on my 95-point plan, which is to make d the greatest town in America. It was a really rough day and uh, kind of hectic. So we got 11 of the 12 goats back, and uh, now we got this one goat left. So I'm gonna give it an all Boy Scout effort, but it may be that that goat was just meant to be free. Good day. Yep, it was a good day. Long day. Yes. Tiring day. It was. Feet get hurt. I ain't in the shape I used to be in. Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess it's worth it. I love you. Well, I could not have got this done without Angie's help. She's my partner in crime and basically my soulmate. She's the most wonderful first lady that a man could ever ask for.